Hey y'all, welcome back to Movement Link. So I want to take a few minutes and talk about the kettlebell swing and uh, a real important distinction between what the arms are doing in the kettlebell swing. So what we see a lot of times is people just have the image in their head that in the kettlebell swing, our arms should be straight throughout. So the reality is if we're doing the American swing, which goes up overhead, my arms are going to be straight up at the top where I'm getting that full extension of the shoulders and getting everything together. Sorry, I can't demo it. I got the ceiling here that I might whack. So, uh, so what happens is people get the image of the kettlebell swing being here and then up overhead and they just fill in the gaps with this image of your arms being straight the whole time. But what we typically see is that the people that have their arms straight the whole time are typically the people that are moving the kettlebell a little too soon and don't quite uh, have that timing down and aren't waiting to drive with the hips before the arms get involved. And they're the ones doing the arm pull, driving with the hips, and that sends the kettlebell out. So let's kind of think about what we're doing with the kettlebell swing. We're using our jumping pattern, okay? So we have that kind of bent over, shins vertical, jumping pattern. So we're doing, using our jumping pattern with weight. We're trying to jump this weight overhead. So the further that weight goes out, we have to kind of swing it all the way around. So we're always talking about skill transfer. We don't want to develop the kettlebell swing and the clean and the snatch and the jump in these different silos. We want to develop them all together so we're using the same techniques. That way when you're getting better at one, you're getting better at the others. So uh, one of the important distinctions here on the kettlebell swing is what we're trying to do is get to that full extension of the hip point and it gets us into that arch position. And we see this arch position all over the place. It shows up in the burpee, shows up when I'm spiking a volleyball, shows up everywhere. It especially shows up as I deadlift up and drive in a clean or drive in a snatch. So this is gonna be something that's similar that we see everywhere. So really what we're doing is I'm uh, generating power out of the hip and just trying to get to that arch position. So I drive up and I'm in that slight arch position and that's gonna put the power on the kettlebell. So a common problem we see with the clean and the snatch is we don't try to quite get all the way extended and that tends to push everything out forward. So it's the exact same thing here in the kettlebell swing. If we're not getting all the way extended, we're typically gonna see that kettlebell go way out. But if I'm getting nice and back, and getting here, my arms are gonna still be straight at this point. So that's gonna put more vertical motion on the weight, and I'm gonna be much more efficient getting that weight overhead, and I'm gonna be more efficient with the skill transfer of using this move for other things. So really all I'm trying to do is drive hard, hit that hard hip drive arch position with straight arms, just like we're gonna use straight arms in the clean and the snatch, and then after that position, that's where I'm just going to kind of follow it up. So if I was going overhead, I would follow it up through the Russian swing position. And then I would extend my arms out straight to get it straight overhead. But it, uh, again, here, I'm not going to go up in that American swing position because of the ceiling. So in that Russian swing position, you're going to see my arms are a little bit bent. But the key distinction here is I'm not bending the arms here, and I'm not pulling it with bent arms. So that's where uh, people get confused. They try to mimic the bent arms. The bent arms are just something that happens when I keep my arms straight, get that full extension point here with straight arms, and that's gonna put a more vertical lift on the kettlebell as opposed to moving that kettlebell a little soon and then driving it out in front. So as you're playing around with this, a great drill that you can do is you can set your kettlebell up. I feel like there's a wall right here. You can set your kettlebell up. You can kind of measure the distance to a wall and you can work on getting back and just driving with the hips so it doesn't swing out and smack that wall. Make sure if you're doing it, make sure you don't actually hit the wall. You can produce a lot of force with those kettlebells and if it's drywall it'll go right through immediately so be careful with that one but long story short the 
direction that we want the weight to go. We want to keep that weight as close to our center of gravity as possible. We want the skill transfer of making the jumping pattern look the same as jumping, the clean, the snatch, and the kettlebell swing. And if we get our timing correct with the arms straight, we can generate a lot of power. And then we just follow it up. And when we follow it up, our arms are gonna typically be bent. And if we're doing the American style, we're gonna extend out to get that full extension up at the top. All right, hope that helps. Talk to y'all soon.